An old classic returns. Images of the Vex offensive, what could be Vex offensive armor, as well as a look at a new exotic, believed by me to be the Leviathan's breath. How's it going, guys? My name's DPJ, and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like truly helps out. And if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so we have covered most of what PAX has brought in terms of new info regarding Destiny 2 Shadow Keep and what's coming. One of the speck of information that came out of it is the fact that an old classic will return to the game in the Kvastov. Argue much yourself is how it's pronounced. The starting weapon for Destiny 1. The first weapon you shoot playing the game. The weapon which also returned in year 2 as an exotic where you could switch around its firing modes. I mean I preferred the original but hey that's just me. Well, it's returning, which if you think about it, it kind of makes sense with the fact of New Light. The free to play Destiny 2 campaign, starting fresh for newcomers to the game. New Light sees players starting their journey into Destiny 2, playing the very first mission in Destiny 1, where you revive by the original Mr. Peter Dinklage, even though it will be known enough to newcomers. And you went on to pick up your first weapon, that being the Kvostov. Because this mission is coming back with new light, new players will actually be able to grab this weapon and have it added into your collection. We can see this confirmed by this image on screen now. We also see the original ghost shell being added into your collections. Question is, how do folks like me get hold of this weapon? Can we get hold of this weapon? That I ain't sure, which is a shame, because I loved this thing. I love that broken lens on its sights too. Thing is, deleting a character and starting again, I don't even think that will work. Will it? I don't know. I don't think I want to risk trying it. But yeah, the cover stuff returns with new light and shadow keep. Now we've seen a lot of speculation because the original cover stuff is coming back. The cover stuff 7G02. Many people are speculating on the fact that the exotic version may return also. I've seen numerous videos on this. I am not sure about it people, maybe in the future sometime it may return, maybe Bungie are hiding it away behind some secret hidden exotic quest within Shadow Keep, but the exotic version, the Kvostov 7G0X, will this return to Destiny 2 as a new exotic? I'm not sure on people, let me know your opinion on this down below in the comments section. All I know is I want the original, if it's confirmed that you can delete a character, go back and get it. Goodbye Warlock, nice knowing you. But yeah, let me know what you think about this down below in that comments section. Okay, so moving on and on screen, now we see what is believed to be a new exotic bow, the Leviathan's Breath, a part of an exotic quest exclusive to season pass holders. Now, what we are seeing here, I believe, is the bow we saw being worked on within the Vidoc some time ago, which offered a weird knockback effect. Let me know how it feels to get shot by the heavy bow. I am working on an exotic heavy bow um, and I'm just working on figuring out some knockback trying to see how big this okay that's probably too much but you get the idea. Now we've also seen another bow and it wasn't until seeing this image that I do believe it's an ornament for the Leviathan's breath and it's this one you see on screen now on the left with the hive bone structure effect added onto the existing frame and it looks incredible. I believe this to be an ornament because of that chain like bowstring. Okay, so we're going to move on and we have a first look at the Vex offensive event. Now, although we can't actually tell what's going on here, we can see a giant like Vex portal as opened up on said destination and teleports in Vex enemies. Now what this event consists of and the mechanics behind it, we have no idea of as of yet, but it does look pretty damn cool. Now sticking with the Vex offensive, on screen now we see the battle pass which comes with Shadow Keep. The armor available from this battle pass is armor confirmed by Bungie to also drop from the Vex offensive. And on screen now we see a much better image of all three armor sets this battle pass and the Vex offensive event offers. And to be honest, I kind of like the fact it isn't your typical spacey like armor. It kind of reminds me of the typical blue rare armor you'd pick up at those low levels, which sometimes I love the look of. Now this I'm in two minds on at the moment. Is it special enough? I ain't sure, but it's definitely different. The leafy effect we have on it though I do like, and it matches the weapons that also drop from the Vex offensive, confirmed by Bungie there are four, and these are two of them right here. 
These are basically Mercury Prophecy weapon reskins. Now the armour we see on screen now which we've been a little confused over, originally people including myself thought it was raid armour, others thinking it was moon or vex offensive armour, others thinking it's eververse armour, so much more. What I actually think this armour is, is ornaments for the vex offensive and battle pass armour, confirmed by Bungie the battle pass will feature 3 universal armour ornament sets, one per class and I believe that these fit directly in relation to the Vex offensive gear. As when you compare the two, they are indeed very different, but the bouts for each are more or less the exact same, so that's pretty cool. But yeah people, the Shadow Keep is around the corner and I am super excited for it. Today I just brought you a little recap over the minute information we've had over the past 12 hours so i hope you enjoyed it people if you did leave in a like it really does help out and if you are new around here and enjoy daily destiny 2 videos be sure to subscribe but guys that is it for another video thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully i will see you on that next one